Right. Ito yung tinatawag na birth pains ng startup talaga. So, medyo sanay na sanay na tayo dyan. Cool. Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of our IT Career Talk. And today with me is Ver Agbay. He is a startup CTO or startup co-founder and entrepreneur. So say hi to our audience. Hi everyone. Hi Rafi. Hi, hi. Good evening or good day, right? Because we don't know what time our audience will want to watch this. Mm-hmm. So let's start off with, you know, could you define to us what your current role is? You know, you are a startup founder, a, a CTO. Uh, what what do you do uh, on a regular basis? Yeah, it's more of like a startup CTO, no? So uh, for, for, for me, ang role ko for the company is to, well, the chip technologies. So uh, I'm handling yung... Uh, any related to building your team, mm-hmm. uh, building the dev team, uh, building you, uh, selecting the tech stack that we're going to use, the tools that were that uh, that we're going to use in the company, also um, handling and uh, how do you call this? Um, manage yung timing ng mga projects for the company. So yon important sa akin yung forties ng ano, parang parang sa, sa company na so implementing those types of Right. And I think a lot of our audience will want to ask, how does one become a startup CTO? Do you, um, yeah. do, do you uh, basically join, you know, there's an upcoming event, Startup Weekend. Um, do you join um, events there and pair? Look for a a, a partner? Uh, 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 yeah. How, how does one get into the startup life? <laughs> okay. So, so basically, I... I start naman uh, from from a startup company siguro may medyo late na rin eh so mga 20, for for me ah so mga mm. tw- for me yung late is mga 2012 <laughs> I don't know with the others now so for for ano startup CTO for uh, in case of my setup with Unawa um I, I joined Unawa with ano na with a small small group actually meron silang meron kaming partner pero those uh, the people are not full time Mm-hmm. So, parang we have a mother company. So, they build the product and uh, then once the product is mature enough, uh, they hire a full-time uh, startup CTO to, to continue the project. Yeah? So, right. ganun kami nag-meet ng uh, Unawa. So, it's actually, the company is already two years old before I joined them. Right. Actually, that's a very interesting um take now because i've also seen this where startup companies actually don't get a full time cto just yet they either outsource first and mm-hmm. then once there's some sort of validation or some sort of a uh, ramp up that's when they hire a startup cto yeah. itself right um I, yes go ahead okay i think uh, they have all, already have 2 years naman to to start with uh, and build your initial product then uh, when I get to the company, that's the time that we'll uh don't come in like full blast, no? Yes, yes. So yes. we complete, we launch the product. Right. And what what certain skill sets or you know what made you stand out for them to get you as the startup CTO? Uh, was is it like I, typical corporate where it was it translatable to corporate CTOs? Or they, were they looking for a certain set of skills? That yeah. Have? Sige. Uh, for that, kasi I think ang nagustuhan sa akin ng, ng team is or ng, ng top um, uh, heads is more on, I'm hands-on. No? So, I, I still do coding. Um, well, mas DevOps ako. Well, I'm also do yung, uh, I, I'm a solutions architect. No? So, I, I do freelance solutions architect that eh, before they hire me. So, yun, uh, yun yung mga set of skills na available. And actually, I'm uh, wearing multiple hats during mga previous startup company na pinasukan ko dati. Right, very, very good, very good. Mm-hmm. And um, in terms of, you know, a, a lot, lately I've been asked uh, about when you're a founder or part of the Exicom or executive committee mm-hmm. or top management in a startup, um, 
does does what you call this stock options uh, play into a part <laughs> of uh... Uh, well wala masyadong details about that pero there is a possibility pero uh, no details pa naman tungkol doon okay. siguro once we get there na baka na lang kami mag-uusap <laughs> right right yeah right. uh, for me uh, for the audience uh, i Sheet stock options, uh, typically at least in the Philippine scene, like a bonus. Great mm-hmm. if you know, a great if yes. it happens because as a startup, once it grows and you know it, maybe it gets bought, gets further invested, then those will help. Mm-hmm. No, but treat it like a bonus, right? Yeah, uh, definitely. Uh-uh. Right. I I always say pay yourself first, no, and then. Uh-huh. Uh, bonus uh, after during the other times ang tawag lang namin is more on profit sharing profit sharing actually that's a very yeah. good term yes uh-huh. not only for the top guys but including the the team also involved in the project yes great no? so so I usually ask how did you get into IT you know because some of our audiences are young mm-hmm. and they probably yeah. want to understand you know how you got into IT what motivated you or you know any particular story that you want to share on yeah, that sure. front? Uh-huh. Yes. Sige. Uh, I actually, uh, I'm an engineering student. Uh, during that time, it's uh, electronics and communication engineering. Mm-hmm. Pero yung mga barkada ko is computer science. Mm. So, sa Adamson, during those days, parang mas interested ako doon sa pag, uh, pag-build ng software. Pag, uh, during that time, wala pa masyadong ano, eh, mga windows. Mm. So, we're using floppy disk. <laughs> uh, we're building mga MS-DOS. Mm. So, pagandahan ng parang start, startup day. So, doon. I think doon ako nag-start ma- maging inter- interested doon sa pag- pag-program, pa- pag-handle ng uh, kung paano ginagamit yung computer. Kasi during the time, hindi pa naman uso yung computer. So, right. even mobile phones kasi medyo rare pa. Correct. correct. <laughs> but, tinapos mo ba yung ECE or more or less? Yes. Or... Actually, uh, I finished naman ECE pero na-hire kasi ako agad as a software developer sa isang mm-hmm. manufacturing company. So, instead of uh, taking the board exam, uh, I I choose to ano na, uh, to work. work full-time uh, as a um, software developer. Pero doon ko na rin natutunan yung DevOps. So, ginawa rin nila akong sysad. Kasi we don't have yung ano niyan during that time. Eh. All right. Speaking of hiring, no? And now that, you know, um it's also almost hiring season, I would say, no? mm-hmm. we have we have graduates upcoming and you've mm-hmm. experienced a startup life, you know, you are hiring yes. for for mm-hmm. uh, you, you are a hiring manager and you also were hired like as you, as you mentioned uh, in a corporate life. Right. Mm-hmm. What can you tell us about you know hiring in general versus in startup versus hiring in corporate and who should aim for corporate and who should aim for startup? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, so basically, uh, medyo iba yung approach ko when it comes to ano, hiring start on on a startup company. Mas pini prefer ko dito yung may mga experience or kahit mm-hmm. hindi rather than ano ah, yung parang natapos yung academic ano niya, uh, Mas prefer ko yung uh, kahit uh, parang two years lang ang uh, kanyang ano uh, uh, kanyang schooling or college or mm-hmm. sometimes ano nga lang eh uh, high school graduate pero they have experience na sa web development kasi mm-hmm. during that time uh, I started as ano eh uh, parang head ng uh, director of uh, web development so I, I hire people based on experience no? so doon ko tinitingnan pero in some cases naman, I see also potential in, in people. Like, halimbawa, uh, I see yung mga, well, siguro medyo rare lang. Uh, kung meron ako makita ang mga medyo, may, mga, may acad- academic excellence, halimbawa may cum laude. Pero not on a parang prestigious school. Mas prefer ko nga yung graduate ng province, uh, tawag dito, mga hindi masyadong kilala pero top notcher siya dun sa school na yan. So, yun yung mga tinitingnan kung ano. And, syempre, ang tinitingnan namin is uh, can this uh, person can adapt the culture that uh, we want to build. 
So, yun yung, yun, yun agad ang tinitingnan ko kapag uh, nag-i-interview or nag-hire kami ng tao. Right, no? And speaking of culture, speaking of what you what your company right now, Onawa, is building, can you tell us more about the technical uh, details, you know, that's allowed, no? that's allowed, like, you know, what's your mm-hmm. tech stack, um, what's your yes. approach, what's your culture like? Mm-hmm. Okay, so more on the culture, kasi sabi natin, startup pa lang din kami, no? I'm also parang one year pa lang naman sa company. So right now what what we are building is uh we're uh, currently ang tech stack muna namin is we're using uh JavaScript. So we're using Node, Angular, uh well uh Google Cloud Platform when yung Firebase uh, as our backend and uh slowly ini migrate ko na siya sa AWS. No? So nung nung pumasok ko. Siya. So right. yun, y- uh when also yung tech stack madami kasi na akong experience eh pero at the moment, mas prefer namin ng Node.js. Pero unti-unti yan, uh, we're, we're planning to enter blockchain, uh, maybe some some AI naman, ng konti with Amazon, and all those ano parang mga solutions na available na sa cloud. So like yung mga OCR, mga visual uh, AI, so th- those are things that we're looking at. Right. But, uh, uh, speaking of the company no Onawa can you tell us uh, for our audience you know uh, what is the gist of Onawa para they can understand why you, this is your tech stack or you know there's any particular reason mm-hmm. why uh, what does Onawa do in other words okay Onawa is well i am not the the authorized guy to to explain that pero definitely ang ang Onawa is more on, on the legal mm. tech no so dati ano kami eh uh, more on parang regulatory technology pero for this year and moving forward more on the legal tech na no? right so yun there... yung focus pero we can also do some uh, custom solutions for any company right is there any um tech that's as you mentioned earlier and so that's that's really good for legal tech like you know mm-hmm. like you mentioned the recognition um mm-hmm. AWS is also mentioned you're moving to AWS any particular strengths that you see and so that's it that's why you you move you know in legal tech for that particular tech stack uh no actually kasi uh yung yung uh unawa is actually uh parang founded by pgs law it's a law firm mm-hmm. and uh another uh another company from uh, parang silicon valley base so um, that's why ano kami agad legal tech at kami agad no so we're not uh, parang transferring lang because oh, meron meron yung AWS so uh, right now we're we're using AWS we're using Google Cloud Platform we're also working on Azure so mm. kung ano yung prefer ng client no and for me naman yung experience ko I also do yung mga old stuff pa yung mga IBM Bluemix mga bare metal talaga yes, no? yes. even Vitro so so mga ganun yung mga set up pero it depends on the client no we can go as para mga cheap as parang mga digital ocean lang so yon flexible naman yung ano yung solution natin when it comes to cloud right um i i also wanted to ask no um a lot of tech focus solely on or tech uh, practitioners fo- focus solely on you know they have to be great coders they have to be great uh, solutions architects um especially in your in your company you mentioned it's uh, legal tech right how yeah. much legal knowledge do you need you know did, did you need to be <laughs> are you watching shows like you know all of these legal jargons uh, etc yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. how uh, how uh, important uh, is the domain knowledge no uh, in building a company well actually to, to tell you honestly medyo siguro wala pang 10% na alam ko when it comes to legal. Mm-hmm. Pero, legality. Pero, we have, ano naman, attorney Gino, mm-hmm. our COO, to support me on that. Ano? And yung CEO, attorney Reg, siya naman yung bahala dun sa overall. Naman. Right. So, I, I guess the this is where the project managers, um, scope writing is very important then? Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. Cool. All right. Um, could you tell me also at at the moment no are there other things you are passionate about uh, as a tech person you know is a 
uh, CTO as well. No? Do you, does your life just revolve around tech or are there other hobbies and projects yeah. that you, you that Well, you do? hobbies, I, I, I like, um, I have a pet like parrots, ganyan. I also mm. do investing on blockchain, uh, uh, cryptocurrency, and also on stock market, konti lang, ganyan. So, so those are more on passive income, pero nag-re-ready lang sa pagtanda. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right, right. No, so you'd consider yourself like you know the concept of what you call this, like a well balanced lifestyle in the in that sense. Uh when I join a startup company, I don't uh, expect na magkakaroon ng uh work life balance pa for for the meantime. Because I expect na I'll work more than eight hours. Mm-hmm. Because uh yon uh ang well right now I can say that uh, Unawa is working more than more than uh, eight hours a day. So, we have morning and night shifts. Mm, so, okay. So, ganun ang approach namin ngayon. So, parang in a way, yung dev team namin hindi natutulog, no? For mm. now. Well, I, I am not proud to say na ganun pa yung setup namin. Pero kasi medyo, uh, we have lots of project with mm. uh, yung manpower namin is hindi pa ganun kalaki. Pero we're, we're actually tripling our size naman when it comes to sa development group. So, yon. Uh, I think once we have yung enough uh, manpower and also yung enough tawag dito experience with the uh, with the team, mm-hmm. I think mas malalesa naman yung mga hours na naman. Right. So, ito yung tiyatawag na birth pains ng startup talaga. So, medyo sanay na sanay na tayo dyan. Cool. That's that's great, no? So, as we are about to end, no? Um, some closing advice that you might have for, siguro, last two questions. Of course, okay. advice for young practitioners out there, no, that maybe who wants to follow your path also, um, you know, mm-hmm. uh, maybe transitioning from ECE or even you know, uh, discovering themselves in the tech. Yeah, right mm-hmm. now. So I think ang knowledge naman is free. So right now we have Google and YouTube University. Well, <laughs> uh, education is free for everyone, but uh, you have time lang talaga, and you have the passion to learn it. So, yun, uh, don't, be, don't be afraid na mag-fail tayo. So, failure is uh, parang kasama yan sa part ng success. So, ganun din ako nung simula. So, nag-try lang ako nung nag-try. Then, may nagtiwala. Then, this is the time na I prove myself na I'm uh, worthy of ano din. Uh, parang accepting yung, ano na, yung challenge. Na. Yes, very good. No, we are all worthy. And so, I would encourage actually IT practitioners to show yourself. Join uh, interviews like this to show that we are actually worthy to be in front of the camera <laughs> as well, right? Okay, uh, this is my first time. <laughs> yes, no. Um, we we are the building blocks of companies right now, right? So we also are worthy mm-hmm. of their time. Okay. Right. So before we end again, um, do you have any last shout outs, uh, hiring, mm-hmm. promotions, or any advocacy that you wanna promote? Yeah, actually, we're we're hiring. Uh, if you have like a you you have like a ERP ano dyan, uh, talents, and you like pythons, maybe you can uh, join us then <laughs> for for our new projects. Alright, great, no, great. Um, and then one last. No, again, um, how does one or you know become an end user of Unawa, the legal tech? No, um, is there a app? Is there a website that we should visit to check it out? Yes, uh, you can check uh www.unawa.asia. Mm-hmm. So we have there several products. So right now our flagship product is Sign Secure. So it's actually free, free to use. So you can try it out. So it's similar to a in top na na. Provider is DocuSign and Adobe Signature, right? So yes. Adobe Sign. So it's similar to that, pero with a para additional features pa. So right. better if you can actually try it. Great, and and as you mentioned, it's backed by some of the great attorneys, no? So yeah, for sure, top lawyers, no? Top, top hundred lawyers in the Philippines. Top hundred lawyers in the Philippines. So for sure, this is a uh, legally grounded, no? mm-hmm. So I. So let's be careful on our signature then because you know it's uh, quite legal then. All right. Yep. So that's it. Thank you very much for your very very concise interview and I hope it inspired uh, others as well to 
speak up and also others to try tech no? and uh, be more comfortable in tech as well. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'd like to say you, goodbye Andy. also to our audience. Yeah, bye everyone. Just click and subscribe. <laughs> Thank bye. you. Bye-bye.